Today I was going to make a, just a quick video on, uh, I know I already covered this before on replacing um, airbag control modules on Fords, uh, but I did want to show you a different approach to it that makes it actually a lot easier. This is a 2014 Ford Escape uh, that I'm working on, and I replaced, uh, you can see down there, I replaced a knee bolster airbag, uh, driver's bag, uh, seat belts. Uh, everything and then when you go into the control modules, you'll notice that they're locked of course uh, Crash data can't delete it uh, only option is to uh, replace the module um, But before I covered how to do it with um, using the uh, Programmable module installation and as-built data, but on the Fords um, you can also uh, back out of the system and then you can go back into programming and then uh, programmable module installation again we're gonna go to the restraint control module ask you if the VIN number is correct yes okay the vehicle battery is low I'm gonna go ahead and charge it real quick or throw a charger on it and then we'll continue again back in the restraint control module VIN number is correct Turn the ignition switch off, hit OK. Now it's going to tell you to go ahead and install the new module. What you want to do is leave your scanner on at this point. Uh, maybe plug it in because mine's a little low on the battery, but just leave it in. It's already uh, read all the data from the old module and we plug in the new one, it's actually going to transfer it over. So I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart real quick, put the new module in, and uh, I'll show you how it sets it up. Uh, got it changed Ford of course the absolute worst in my opinion for changing airbag control modules and you're gonna see you're getting all kinds of faults for the 911 assist and everything else but the new module is in now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit OK on our scan tool turn the ignition on And there you go. It tells you that it's configured. Check for codes that may have been set. Turn the ignition off. Okay. We're going to go back. Escape. Diagnostic. Control unit. Strains control module. Read the codes that are now in there. Make sure we got everything set up okay. Fords are also the absolute slowest cars to diagnose or run scans on. It just takes forever to get into any computer. It drives me crazy. So we'll wait here. And then it's going to tell you that the occupant classification system. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to OCSM. We're going to clear the codes out of this. It's probably going to tell us that the new module is not calibrated. Now, oh, the OCDS also saves the crash data, but you can actually erase it out of the occupant detection system. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and erase that. Yes. Now, this should be gone out of the OCDS. Okay, no fault codes. We'll go back. We're going to check the restraint control module. We're going to hit erase codes. Yes. Okay, now we're going to read it one more time. Everything should be good. No 
little phone codes. <clears throat> and we're going to go ahead and start it up just to be sure. Airbag system is clear. Now there is some ABS lights on in this car, but they're still working on the right front um, suspension. It's missing an uh, ABS wheel speed sensor. My job is just to do the airbags and uh, we got it cleared. So yeah, I just wanted to demo real quick that you can actually replace uh, on any of the new Fords the airbag control module without having to use IDS or even as built data. You can just save the information out of the old module and then when you install the new one with the Autel, it'll go ahead and set all the calibrations for you. So I uh, hope that helps you out and saves you a little bit of time on your next job and uh, thanks for watching. Together and I did want to add one more uh, one more step in the process now that they got the wheel speed sensor put in you notice we still have the uh, airbag lights off but we have the ABS and traction control light um, so what we're gonna do on your auto is go into service uh, this is kind of important and then go to chassis and then braking and then you're gonna have to go to the IBD initialization sequence and we're gonna hit yes and then we're gonna hit calibrate lateral acceleration sensor turn the ignition switch on let me make sure the car is off ignition switch on hit ok it's going to calibrate that sensor You have to do this anytime you replace an airbag control module on most of the late model newer Fords. Okay, turn the ignition off. Ignition back on. Hit OK. We're going to calibrate the longitude sensor next. Same process. Make sure you keep the car still too with a without moving it around or, or moving too much while it's calibrating these. And then we don't need to do the steering angle sensor. We're gonna go out, we're gonna escape, we're gonna escape again, we're gonna go into diagnostic, control unit, and again we wait. But you can see I already don't have the ABS and traction control light anymore. So, I just want to go in, double check, make sure that everything is cleared out. Might still have codes in it. Nope, no fault codes. So, let's start it up just to double check. And now we have everything on. No more airbag lights. No more 911 assist and active, and no more ABS lights. So I did it all with an all tail scanner, uh, start to finish. Um, again, just thought I'd do this while I was on the job here, and I uh, hope maybe it helps you out. Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, back at home, I was uh, putting that video together uh, before I throw it online, and I just wanted to add that I know I said airbag module, um, but the Autel, there's a lot of Ford modules you can do that with. You can do um, PCMs and stuff like that. So it's not just uh, airbag modules that you can store the info in and replace it. So it's kind of a, a neat feature that I've been using a lot uh, recently. I just started trusting it, you know, and uh, it works pretty good. So um, yeah, if uh, you're going to replace a module in a Ford, give that a shot first. Uh, whatever module you're doing, just pick it out of the programmable module installation uh, like I showed you. And then uh, it'll read the old module, tell you to put the new one in, and transfer the information. So uh, again, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope it helps you.